Hey guys, it's Post Production Pi, and welcome to part four of the professional Photoshop portrait retouching series on srlounge.com. Now, you guys should have just finished part three, which was blemish and unflattering detail removal. So, if you guys haven't done that, go back, check out the previous tutorials, get caught up. What we're going to do is in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys basically how to diminish any unflattering lines, such as eye lines, age lines, uh, via the clone stamp tool. So let's get started. We're going to first select the last layer that we worked on, which was part three. We're going to hit Control J or Command J on a Mac to jump it to a new layer. We're going to hit uh, double click and type in part four. We're going to call it diminishing, uh, if I can spell right, diminishing lines. All right, now let's select our clone stamp tool. We're going to set up a new brush preset for this specific uh, clone stamp effect. Now what we're going to do is zo zoom into our image so we can see the eyes close up. Um, about 200% is good. All right, now what we talked about before was that when we get to unflattering lines such as like eye line and stuff like that, you don't want to remove the lines, you want to diminish them. Um, if you remove them, you're going to create your subjects that you're going to make them basically look kind of alien. They're not going to look very human. They're going to look very photoshopped and very fake. So what we want to do is we're going to set uh, a new brush and what we're going to do is use a clone stamp brush that's set to the lighten blend mode. So we're going to pull down the blend mode, go to lighten. We're going to turn the opacity to around 25 percent. You guys can go up or down just kind of based on preference, try it out, see what you guys like. Uh, I'm going to go to my brush settings. Size at 35 pixels is fine. Hardness at zero is fine. I want it to be very well feathered, so I want to keep it at zero. We're going to go to the presets. I'm going to hit new preset, and we're going to call it lighten clone stamp. Now, what this clone stamp is going to do is it's basically going to lighten areas that are darker than my sample area. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sample from this area, this highlight area right below this darker area, the eye line, and then I'm just going to kind of brush and paint over the darker area. It's not affecting any of the brighter areas of the image, it's only affecting the darker ones. So I don't have to worry about like going over this highlight area again, it won't affect that area. So I'm just going to go over it. You can kind of do short brush movements or you can kind of do longer ones. If you do longer ones, there's a greater chance that uh, you're going to be doing more undoing. I'm going to lighten up this area right here inside the eye, lighten up these eye details right there, and I'm going to go to this side. Again, in the corner of the eye, I'm going to lighten up this area. Again, I'm just kind of clicking multiple times. It's on 25% because I don't want the effect to be too strong. So I'm just applying it multiple times to each of these areas to give me kind of the correct uh, effect and the correct look. All right. That looks about right. I'm going to do it a little bit more in this area right here and this area. If I notice areas that I want to completely lighten, like for example, I want to completely lighten this area, and if it doesn't get me there, it should for the most part get you to where you want to be. Um, if it doesn't get you where you want to be, then you probably need to select the patch or uh, healing tool and go over it one more time. Okay, let me zoom out and make sure that doesn't look fake. So let's check this out. If you get an effect that looks kind of fake or if it looks like there's too much adjustments in certain areas then you need to kind of go back a little bit and what I see right now is it looks like this area is very light, this area is very light, this area is a little bit darker so I need to kind of lighten up this area just a little bit just to kind of even it out and let's check this out. I'm going to go with a little bit larger of a brush just kind of go over these areas a little bit just I want to get the blend to look about right and that looks about right. If I need to make any adjustments, I'm going to select the patch tool. I'm going to go over whatever area I think doesn't look quite right and just kind of make a minor adjustment. Hit Control Shift F to bring up the flow and just kind of reduce the flow so it doesn't look too uh, adjusted. So it kind of looks more natural. Same thing right here. Uh, I'm going to sample over this area. Actually, we'll go over, yeah, probably over this area. Again, Control Shift F. We're going to reduce that and then hit D. And that looks better. So it looks a little bit less like we've just adjusted everything. Okay, so let's look at the before and after that. Looks great, we've diminished the lines, we haven't removed them. Let's do a little bit more. I just wanna diminish slightly the uh, smile lines just so they're not quite as deep. So again, I'm gonna go to the clone stamp tool. I'm gonna select my same brush if it's not already selected. I'm gonna go over this area where the highlight is and I'm gonna shrink the size of my brush. So I'm just affecting the actual line itself. I'm just gonna draw it right over this line. I just want to diminish it a little bit. If I don't quite get it right, I can undo that and then uh, you know, select a different area to 
to diminish from. Um, again, I think this is probably the best area, so I'm just going to select that again. Diminish just a tiny bit. Once again on this side, diminish just a little bit. That looks a lot better. If we see any other lines, like if you see any necklines, this works perfectly for necklines. And I think we're good throughout the rest of the image. There's no other lines that I really want to diminish, except for maybe this neckline right here. And I can just kind of pull that out by simply adjusting over it a couple times. So you can see how nice it is for just kind of quickly adjusting out these lines that we kind of want to be uh, just less noticeable. The same with right here. I'm going to adjust that out a tiny bit right here a little bit. All right, again, we're going to cover the hair and this line detail later on in the hair removal and detail removal uh, tutorial. So this is great. Let's check out the before and after. Here is the after. Here is the before. You can see how nice and natural that effect looks. We've still kept the, uh, the line detail there so it doesn't look fake, but it just looks nice and soft. I'm going to hit Control-0 to zoom out, and in the next tutorial we're going to teach you guys how to basically adjust skin tones so that all the skin tones match over tan lines or over any other discolored areas of skin. So you can see the tan line right here. We'll show you guys how to fix that in the next tutorial.